some lights is what I'm thinking because we've got <clears throat> we've got some of this which is fairly fairly stiff wire um, maybe not that one uh, some that has a single strand to it uh, this has got strands 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 I want one that's a single piece of wire well I don't know as I have any in here that are that's small enough to do that job. Oh, 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 oh. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty small. Pretty small. Let me uh let me see how that, that twists up. That may may be the ticket. So I'm putting it in the bundle, right? I'm tying it. I'm using it as a tie. We're just tying it together. Like you would a tie wrap, right? You would a tie wrap. Okay. That works pretty good. Okay. We're going to go ahead and cut those. So we made like a little tie wrap for that. Huh? Yeah. yeah, okay. Now these guys, right, they're going to lay down here somewhere. We're going to put another piece of tape over this and this and this, like this. Right. Not quite sure what we're going to do with the decoder yet. Uh, but we've got plenty of, plenty of room to work with there. So let's go ahead and put another piece another piece of um, of captain tape over top of this and again we got some that uh, some that we had previously used but I'd like it to clean it up here mm -mm -mm -mm. maybe I don't want to reuse this maybe I want to get some clean new stuff. I don't know. This might this might work. This might work. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah. Alright, now let's try this. This is stuff that we used before, right? Get the gray wire up there. Get some of these other ones together like this. Oh, oh it's lost, it's sticky. Okay, we're gonna put some new stuff on. Put some new stuff on. Come on, don't be so cheap. There you go. All righty then. Now, uh, we got some more wires over on this end. Let's see if we can also bundle those up using that that same uh, wire that I used on the other side. Um, let's see if I can, can do that. I may have to go off camera here to get it done, but I'll do it in real time regardless. All right, so now I got it up there, but there's not enough left to do anything with. Let's see if I got another piece in here. Let's try. You know, that's too that's too flexible. That's not too bad. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's let's do this right. This is a thicker piece of wire, but again, our objective here is to make it a tie wrap. Alrighty then, let's do that. Let's see what we got. Not too shabby. Um, I got the gray wire kind of hanging out here. 
I wanted to get the gray wire in there too. Don't look, don't look. There you go. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, too aggressive getting the gray wire in there. And it came apart on me. All right, let's try another one of these. Let's try this one. See, the problem with this is it's got like a Teflon coating on it, and Teflon does not do well for this kind of application, which is making a tie wrap. It doesn't have to be black. It just so happened that uh, I knew I had some black wire in there that was about right. Well, shoot. Heck far, as they say. All right. Well, maybe if I uh, put some more of this stuff on the top, like that. Yeah, that's one nice thing about Captain Tape. It's real tiny, real real small. Now if we put one more right there, and actually we don't even need to do that because we can put the top on this. All right, let's, um, let's, I'm going to run over here and do another test with this as I've got, got it cinched up. You see we're off of there quite a bit. Okay, let's, um, let's go ahead and put the top on. All right. I'm feeling good. Feeling good about this. Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. Top goes on there really well. We've got the the light comes out just right. The decoder's kind of in there, kind of kind of okay. We can even see it through the through the cab. It's not touching anything. All right. Let's uh let's do our test. Let's do our test. And again, our, our big big issue we had was Right, it wasn't running at all with the other decoder um, because things were, were all catching up here. All right, we got a light. Okay. Turn around, let's see if we got another light. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, all right. Now let's just run. Oh, baby. Finally, finally we got this baby to work. All right, now let's see if we can get the cab on, okay, and we'll be done. Get the cab on. Okay, so let's set you back up again. Okay, now putting the cab on, uh, got to go this way, like this. Okay. And the light, all right, should come out right out the center. So let's make sure that we can see the light. There it is, right? See, there's light. Right? See if it's centered. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Okay. Down over the top like this. And snap it into place. Will it snap into place? Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. I heard something snap. What was that? Oh, it was this. Okay, good. Yeah. So that was just, just the rail off the, off the side there. All right. Ready for our big test. Take me off the stand again. Interestingly enough, this has no number. And because it has no number, we don't know what to number it. Right? We don't know what to, what to make it. So it is currently three. All right. Look and see. 
the light. Oh yeah, perfect. Light on this side. Yeah, it's there. Not so much, but it's there. Okay. All right, let's see if we can fix that um, that headlight. And again, I'm I'm a perfectionist on this, so I'm going to re reset that headlight. Well, I got to get the shell off. Okay, the headlight needs to go up. It needs to be up higher. So let's say, looking at it, yeah. Okay, so looking at it, the the headlight is too low. So it needs to be higher. Um, let's look. How much higher? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another another couple pieces of tape underneath this to bring it up. Hey, it's a good thing I put that black tape on there, huh? All right, so now let's let's put another piece of sticky tape on there, and actually probably two more pieces of sticky tape, and that should bring it up to where. And I'm estimating here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that it's right. I'm gonna measure it. All right. So let's take our our measuring stick. Right. And what do we want to measure? Is we want to measure from 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 this edge right to the to the light. So I'm gonna go to the very top of the light. So this is the top top of the hood basically is that far. So no matter what it says on the numbers, the numbers don't, don't mean anything. It's this that we're looking at. So we're going to put this down alongside of, of this, right? And put it right there, right? And that's where the light needs, that's the top of the light. So as you see right here, right, we've, we've just established a, a higher plane by putting that in there. And it's just perfect. It's just right at the top. So I don't need to add another one. That should be it right there. Oh, what happened to my tie wrap? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. See? This is, you got to watch for things like this. Here's my tie wrap, and if it had gotten stuck in something else. All right, we don't need all that crap. We don't need a tie wrap on that. That's that's pretty good shape right there. All right, put this up. This back on again. Making sure that the The light is up in, in place where it's supposed to be. It is not quite there, but I can I can manipulate it with a uh, with a dental tool. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just move it over just a little bit. There we go, like that, okay. and up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Right. Gonna get back on the on the track now. Oh, you can't see that, can you? Getting it back on the track. Um, why is it so? Why is it set down like that?
Whoops. What was that all about? Okay, don't know what that was all about, but whatever it was, the truck wasn't uh, kind of was kind of caught. Hopefully, that didn't destroy something. All right, now let's check our check our lights. Oh yeah, see, much better, much better. Backlight. Yeah, good, good, good. Make sure things are still running. Yep. All right. Good deal, good deal. All right, again, we have no number to put on here, so the next thing to do is uh, we're feeling good about this. Um, we have no number to put on it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clean this up. It looks a little dirty. Um, got some brushes here so we can, we can use. Um, I, I use a toothbrush sometimes. Um, Especially when you're when you're talking about inside of this, uh, we'll clean all this up for our, for our customer. Uh, you don't need to watch me do all that, I don't think. But uh, just know that I'm doing it. Uh, the other thing that will that will do is that he's missing a rail. Yeah, that's the way he brought it in. He's missing a rail, right? But I'm going to go ahead and make one. So we've got these two, Rachel, we'll, that I'll have to put back on. But there's a rail right here. Right? See that one right there? Okay. Well, there's supposed to be another one on the other side. And even this one is kind of like out of position. I'm not quite sure where it goes there, but it doesn't go, doesn't go like that. So we'll, we'll find out where it does go. Um, but I'm going to make another one because it starts in here, right, and goes up, maybe comes up and goes around this way. But I'm going to make another one for this and make a duplicate for that. So I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, we did the decoder install, and that was that's really what we wanted to show. And um, and we're done with this one. This is an Athern uh, 1500 switcher uh, make sure you subscribe huh? okay then here's the finished unit uh, ready for delivery and uh, we've got uh, several several uh, additions that we put on we put a um, put a, a beacon on that uh, that green wire which was f1 and we went ahead and changed the cv so that we had a a beacon uh we've changed the get the, make sure i get the right button there so we, there's the reverse light on the top and nice and smooth we changed the couplers on it so the brand new couplers uh, and we painted the Painting the handrails, so even the handrails got a got a got a, a good painting on them. And uh, this is now engine 67. Uh, it was 67. That's the only only markings on this engine anywhere. And uh, relating that to the yeah, we always have always have something we relate to. There's the there's the real thing. So uh, pretty much like it. We've got uh, got the the beacon on there, white handrails only on the sides. Uh, this has got side rails on it. Uh, the one that uh, the one that uh, the model has got them across the uh, across the side of the the cab, not uh, across the walkway like these. Uh, but uh, we made it made it work. And that's all for this one. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.